That's right, you guys. We have got another Wacky Wednesday with Tactical Tilly. Well, we're on part two of this Fate Build for the Blaster Contest. Um, in, the, in this video, I am definitely sanding down the shell of this bad boy. Now, let me tell you, the easiest way to get in between the crevices is folding the sandpaper in half and sanding uh, like right there sanding in between that was probably the most challenging part about this but either way I got it done um, so like I said in this video you will see the sanding process uh, and then you will see what I have done to create uh, my new blaster look um, I just have to remember how to put everything back together the reason why it's really important that you sand your shells down is so that the paint, the, the spray paint will stick so it's not just like, I don't know, beating off to say the least. So um, it's, it was pretty fun. It was it was a little challenging, like I said. Um, I want to be able to win first place. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of different uh, blaster designs and whatnot. But hey, you know what? I'm going to go with my favorite colors. I bet you guys can guess those ones. That's right. Now for the barrel, I thought to myself, why am I going to re repaint the the black and well I'm gonna do some things uh, in this next clip that you guys see so I had to make sure I got everything there are a lot of pieces in this blaster so just keep in mind uh, remember how you disassembled because you have to reassemble and not to add too much paint coats uh, for your uh, spray paint because well um, <laughs> you're gonna have to file it down in order for it to fit if you put too much so because it adds a layer especially when you're trying to make those pieces connect together um, it was really kind of hard getting that rival off uh, because I don't know they I don't know what they used but it was definitely a little challenging to get off I couldn't get it all the way off but I sanded it pretty good to the point where it was um, it was gone now here you guys see uh, I got the pieces laid out make sure to use cardboard um, I used a gla uh, gloss black and uh, do not get too close to the plastics because it's gonna like build up in paint and I don't know just saw a steady flow back and forth um, and make sure to get the now in this right here you guys can see like I got just the tops I'm like oh I gotta go around and get the other parts so first coat goes on um, it was pretty cool smooth there was really no many bubbles there's not a lot of air traffic for dust and stuff so no dust stuck to any of the blaster which was cool um, I did put two coats on um, I left that one video out because it was just another extra coat but uh, you start to notice if you don't sand good it does you do see the effects uh, from not sanding because the outside will start to show again uh, it does this bubbling effect like I said prior it was pretty fun though So now if you kind of see, I'm going in and getting the edges that I missed because when you're spray painting at one angle, you don't see the other angle. So I was like, oh wait, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I missed a spot right over there. Uh, I Like I said, two coats is what I used. It takes about an hour to dry. And then I went back in. This was like kind of like not an all-day project. I was able to go and do other things. This reminds me of when I used to when I painted my uh, my motorcycle plastics for my R6, my Yamaha. Uh, so you guys are gonna see kind of the same design. Uh, first, it's all black, and then I add. I'm adding. Yes, I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna eventually add some spackles. So I found the hot pink, well, the magenta pink, and uh, I grabbed some rubber gloves and I sprayed it into my hand and then just flickered it on, just like as you guys see here. The pink didn't take too well on top of the black, but still, it definitely made an impression. Uh, my motorcycle, like I said, has this exact same paint job, uh, minus the next color that I add on there. Uh, there's some fumes from the <laughs> spray paint. I totally was fine. I had enough space. I wasn't enclosed in a very small space. So I did not get any fume high. So that was a good thing. Um, it is messy. So like I said, make sure you use gloves. And then just spackle it. Obviously don't touch it. Just spray it in your hand. Do the little fit fit like splackle it around. Splackling it. You like that? That's a nice word, isn't it? Yeah. And then, well, guess what? After the pink, yes, I decided to go lime green because Tactical Open Combat, we do have green in our logo. And Tactical Tilly loves pink. So the green I thought looked way cooler than the pink. Uh, so I like how they both uh, work well together. I ended up putting a lot more green than I did uh, pink. So 
Hopefully you guys have learned something on how to paint some plastics on your Fate Blaster or any kind of plastics for that matter. Uh, I am Tactical Tilly. Thank you guys for checking out my videos, my Wacky Wednesdays. It means the world. Make sure to click, subscribe, and check out our TikTok videos too because I have fun on there as well. You guys, happy Wacky Wednesday, and I can't wait to go back tomorrow and see how beautiful my paint job was. Dr. Tilly signing out. You guys have a fabulous, awesome day and don't have too much fun whacking people with random objects. Have a good night, guys.